So this is the new one. She's got a lot of flies on her. This is Whiskey. RJ, you gonna walk her around? Yeah. Alright, we got her feet picked up. So she's baby steps. Take her away from Durf, honey. Come on, Whiskey. Just kind of, there you go. Be confident in taking her. There you go. Just act like it's another day. So she's going to walk around with that on a little bit and just kind of get the feel for it. Granny's over here being worked. Um, she's was the one that brought up the cattle and all that stuff. So she's just getting back in shape. Then we got Ice and Durf Kavayu Star. Um, Coop is over underneath the tree and Kong the donkey is down at the other end of the arena. So just kind of like pony rides and... So, go just a couple of times around in a circle and then call it quits. She's not resisting it. She's not, you know what I mean? One more yeah. But now here's the thing. Is don't take her back to that corner where you saddled her. Take her someplace to unsaddle her. You see what I'm saying? Someplace different. Yeah. So, but she got her feet picked up. She got saddled. This is, her sinking is the reason that we don't normally use this. Um, pen we used it one time to feed hay in and it's made it more compost than dirt so up here of course this is dry dirt there you go just take it slow talk to her and she's done but it does take two of us one has to hold in order to get her feet up she will do three feet willingly but by the time it comes to the fourth foot she's not sure she wants to do that so, and it doesn't matter which one you start with or which one you end with. It's not a certain foot. That's so, it's just after you do four, after you do three, you're, she thinks she's done. I don't know. Maybe she thinks she only has three wheels. Right? Okay. So, just tie her up there to the post and she's looking. Ice did, um, he's tied up, not for any other reason other than he was getting in the way and he tried to kick her, didn't he? Yep. And that's why she's trying to look back at him. But... Our most unruly horse is one that's been here for a while that shouldn't be doing that. Oh, just have her step back. There you go. And it doesn't seem to bother her too much. So um, we'll saddle her a few days in a row, pony her a few days, and then... Um, We'll start to mount. So Star has been saddled and ponied. She's been saddled. Right? Yep. Okay. So everything's good and I can go play in the garden? Yep. Awesome. Okay. So today I decided to come and check out what was left of the garden after that big heavy rain. Um, I have weeded my little spot here for my onions. You can see that there's plenty of onions in here. And we will have onions pretty much all year until the ground freezes um so i could actually harvest these onion greens and down below are onions that would be like um small pearl onions i love my walking onions there's nothing like them so easy so simple and onions all year long so just saying if you get a chance to get some do it it's wonderful of course the last of the cucumbers dead um this if you remember with the windstorm we had a couple weeks ago, it knocked over the teepee. So I've put it back together. I still haven't got any string out here. This is just what's left. And I'm just making everything climb up this square. Um, I'm actually uh, just taking some of these and putting them around the legs. If I can find the ends of them, that is. Oh, here. Found another one. Looky there. And just kind of giving them that extra boost to climb up. Um, if that makes sense. I don't even know how that one's tangled, but it is. Oh, there we go. And so I've just been doing this and letting them climb up. And that one obviously isn't as sturdy as these others that are reaching for the stars, but there's a ton of this vine in here. And yes, I ate the leaves and they still taste like spinach. So I could actually be out here harvesting this spinach. Um, I don't know how much longer they'll continue to grow because if you remember, they like hot and humid. And last night it got down to about 40 degrees. So 
I'm going to watch for this stuff to keep, come up again next year. And that's when I'm going to sculpt and make it into a more permanent type of um, fixture. Got to do something with this. So anyway, but the real reason I came down here was to... Because from the house, you can notice that this is just kind of flat. It was really humped up. Um, if I can find another video just to give you a comparison, I will. But look, there's more flowers. And I was doing some research. And if I was good enough to be able to tell um, male flowers from female flowers, I would know which are going to produce and which are not. Um, but I don't know how to tell that. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So I've just been kind of digging through, you know, looking to see, and I don't want to tear any of this out yet because I really want any of the loofahs that are in there. So even if I can't see them, I'm praying that this has just got tons of them in it. Um, if not, I still have these two that I found the other day when I lifted it up. Um, and this one's yellow. It's not exactly ripe, but I think it's just because it's not getting enough sun. Um, this may happen when it's on the ground. My other ones don't have that because they're hanging and not on the ground. So I don't know how to tell if this is um, done or not. Now, I did read that there's a squishiness about them. Those have it. Uh, but I don't know that I'm right. Uh, so I've just been kind of playing around. And I've been thinking... Um, because see, I'll show you, here he is, right under here. If you look, there is a loofah gourd right there. And it looks like, kind of like light and dark. And then if you look at the ones that are over here that have been growing a while, these are almost all dark. They have a lot less light. So I'm thinking this is what they were talking about. They said that they would turn brown if you got them overripe and the stuff would still be inside them. So it would be still good. But I'm actually thinking I might want to take and try and harvest one or two and see what I get. Because and I'm trying not to disturb. We have a ton of pollinators. Um, there's everything from spiders to flies to wasps. Um, this stuff is amazing for pollinators. If you are trying to draw pollinators to your garden, there are ladybugs. There is wasps. Uh, different colored wasps. There was a really psychedelic blue, like turquoise looking bug in here. It was amazing to see. I know you don't really care about the bugs, but anyway, um, they were really super cool. I, I've like, I've enjoyed looking at the bugs, but I also have gourds down in here. And if you look, they're solid, almost going to a black and they are squishy. So I'm thinking like this one probably is ready to harvest. But I don't know. This is my first year. There's another one over there that's really long. There's oh, one here, one back on the other side, one here. Um, I'm having trouble keeping this up in the storms. It kind of laid the other way. And if you remember in the first wind storms, I put a T-post there because it's fallen over. Can't wait to get my new trellis system. Um, and it's one I'm making. This one right here, see how it gives? I mean, I don't know. They talk about it being squishy, so I'm not sure if that's it or not. If these are even ripe. But there's another one in there. There's a couple. This one, and, and this is like that younger one that I had found later. See how it's got the dark and the light? And I think this is not ready. As opposed to this, which is more dark, which is probably ready. So again, um, just tidbit. When they're really young... And I mean really, really young. You can eat them as zucchini. When they're older, they become loofahs. So, um, oops. And I have literally, if you remember, I came through here and cleared this out. I was told not to disturb the female plant, the female flowers. But honestly, guys, if I don't know the female from the male, I have been doing this now for how long? And it's still producing. So I'm thinking that going ahead and just picking it up and flopping over. Because see, if you remember, I cleared all of this back. This is all new growth in fall. So I had one guy tell me that they won't stop growing until the first hard frost. Well, that could be January here. I mean, we very rarely had a white Christmas, let alone. <laughs> so 
yeah they're out here again just growing this one has no flowers oh yes it does i stand corrected probably shouldn't have done that yeah okay so my camera's giving me fits but look back in here i'm all the way at the other end the trellis is over there and there's still gourds on this vine so i probably shouldn't be disturbing them but i figure since i've already disturbed them here the first time oh well